Yo, yo, what is up, everyone? We are playing Spatula Star. Have you not fit Escort Quest? Oh, isn't Dragon Lord Emblem crazy? Oh, I actually might just play Dragon Lord Emblem. There's an AP reroll comp with Janna that's actually really good. I just don't know what spat I would play. Um, I mean, I, I know I won't be contested. Actually, mm, do I know I won't be contested? Kind of. Forge is definitely more flexible. I don't know if I want to commit to a thing yet. Well, maybe I should have. Okay, the plan is to try and farm Mogul's Mail, but we can't yet. I don't think we'll farm it this turn. Unless she gets another all off. Ult! Oh, NT, NT, NT. Okay, that's the plan. We try and farm some Mogul's Mail. Try and get some Econ value. And then we probably just play Heavenly. I think Zonya's was definitely like more. Oh, wait. I mean, it must be on Alpha, right? I mean, I don't actually mind playing towards Fated here. If I hit one more Fated, maybe if I didn't sell Yasuo, if I thought about it, I could slam Fated Spell on Malphite and start farming infinite. I'm not going to farm into this guy because I didn't sell Nico. I didn't want to sell Nico because I can actually, if I hit Ari, I can play Arcanist Fated if I slam Spat. It's okay. I don't mind missing two rounds of Mogul's Mail. We can just play it, play it, like take Warmogs off Carousel or something. Take Redemption off Carousel and then play it. I actually probably would have farmed it though. That's okay. I could play four Behemoth. Then I probably do farm it. Or, dude, like just do the best scenario ever. Okay, now I feel like I'm just not slamming Fated Spat. I feel like I'm just playing into Heavenly. I mean, if I want to farm gold, I drop these two and play full Behemoth. I actually don't mind it. Let's play towards, let's play towards Yone. I feel like this is fine. Can you angle towards a Heavenly Spat? Yeah, I think I will here. I think I'll take MR off Carousel and just slam Heavenly Spat. I mean, I'm probably gonna get tested just because like Heavenly is super good into this, in this, um, in Spatula. It's probably like the best Spat out there right now. I mean, especially because I have uh, this. Like I can just take my items off. I can slam the Spats and not feel bad about it. Like, I can move the items onto Nico too, once I hit, things like that. There's a lot of good parts about this. We want MR if we can take it, but it's pretty unlikely that we get it. If we can't get MR, I don't know what we're playing for, honestly. Oh, it's gone. Sword, maybe? I mean, if I hit Thresh too, I'm happy to play Fated Spat, and we just go IE Thresh. It's not bad either. I mean, I think Heavenly Spat will be more contested than anything else. I feel like it's just the best one to slam. Are I think I'm actually going to slam Faded Spat. When life gives you sour bandle bandle, bandle brew. It just makes my guy so much more tanky. And it means I probably farm. I can make Econ as well. And I have an IE slammable for Aphelios. It's pretty nice. Uh, down to sell Kha'Zix. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I mean, ideally, we just farm Mogul's Mail here, but... Might be difficult. Go, go, go. Thank you. 
Okay. We lost three rounds of value, but I think we're fine, honestly. I think this Malphite should farm it a lot from now on. I love the encounter that gets items when units are bad. This is... I love it. I love this Malphite encounter. It's so good. Like, I love being able to slam items and have item holders. I love it so much. Champions and one component. I actually don't know. Three cost, bruises, wardens. If I get bruises, I get a lot. Uh, Tom. If I take this, I get um, a Lowy, I think, or a Mumu. Let's go three cost. Uh, no, not playable. Oh, it's fine. Just make Econ here. I mean, there's a world where I slam redemption. I don't think it's a bad item at all. And it just keeps my Malphite alive, which is like our game plan here. Just try and farm Econ off Malphite. Yo, Measle. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I mean, this guy is super, super, super tanky. With the redemption as well, we're definitely farming from now on. Look at this guy. Holy. He's a beast. He's doing damage as well because of the fated bonus and his, his ability skills with armor. It's not bad. Now for a one unit loss here if Ari casts. Let's see. Let's try, let's try. We make 30. Making 30 here is pretty good. It's kind of a rough start, but I don't know. I, I think I feel like it's pretty saved. If we get Kindred, we can play uh, Kindred in, drop the Ari, Kazix in, but we're probably playing towards 5 Fated next now. I mean, if I hit Nico too, I can probably play uh, Nico plus Kazix, and then go Ari, Spat, Thresh, Kindred, yes. For 5. Nice, another sword. Oh, Death Blade. Now we just need a Rage Blade. Shojin? Oh, I think it's probably Death Blade, honestly. Hit the Yone. Probably just add more Heavenly here. More damage. Uh, maybe we itemize Kha'Zix, honestly. And there's a world where we play this instead. I feel like this is not bad. Can't see if there's another Fated player yet. No, oh, not yet. I'm glad we're not playing Heavenly. Yeah, I don't think Morello Tick applies this anymore. It used to, but I think they stopped it. Get the Malphite. Get the Malphite. Get the Malphite. Good job, team. And by team, I mean enemy team. Good job, enemy team. Redemption. Th Thresh Lantern. Thresh Lantern. Big. Big. Dude, this guy's a beast. 2.1k? Holy. He's a monster. Is that RNG what you get from red or blue? It's red buff or blue buff always. Oh, I think we just take Fated Crown here. No reason not to. Oh, that's that's a reason not to. But I think it's too good. I think it's too good. Yes, we're two and a Kindred pair. Almost always leveling here. Uh, we have five Fated. Plus Arc. Uh, I'm going to Fated... Who am I gonna fate it? Probably Kazix. Sunfire the Thrash, we don't need we don't need anti-heal anymore. Actually like nearly have seven fated already. I just need a Felios. Can sell Yone if it comes to it. I think we're just playing towards a Felios here. It's time. Yeah, one more spat and we are we're golden for the, the ten fated. We do have to go level ten, which makes it a bit awkward, but I mean, my whole comp is like Giga Omega Tanky now. We just have to hope Malphite farms, but I feel like that's not going to happen. 
I'm a little strong now. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Maybe Yoni just keeps hitting him. Okay, never mind. It's not happening. It's okay. I don't mind wind streaking. Don't mind me. Encounter, treasure armory. Opponent anvil or gold? I think it's gold in my spot. Opponent anvil is pretty good because I can take a uh, rage blade component though. Oh, actually, maybe it is component anvil. Like I, I have enough gold. I think my gold, my gold's pretty good. Wow, I still have the trick drop board from yesterday. Yeah, I think my gold's pretty good, so yeah, I'm not too fussed about it. We can just go for rage blade here. Uh, I'll probably pop it after wolves just just so I can make sure. Could be a blue buff or or rage blade. I think my items are really good though. I have two good tanks. I have Aphelios items. Like I don't know how I've spawned in infinite items, but I have. I guess it's the two faded crowns to be honest. Like that's actually massive. If my Kha'Zix Hicks came here, we win. Ooh. You can't win this though, Kha'Zix. You just have to kill the cane. Please farm. Nice! You're a beast. Actually a beast. We'll probably lose this. Depends on this Thresh cost. Oh? Oh, from, from the deathbed, Ari sends it. She's crazy with it. This guy was really strong too, in my opinion. How much HP was he? He was pretty high. When slash how do you decide when to roll or go 10? I mean, I'm not going 10 fated most likely. We can't play around hitting another spat, so... Uh, it's only if I hit one more spat of like a, an encounter or something, then I'll decide that I'm going up. I think we take blue buff here. Like, we're happy to even get an extra tier off Merc Wolves because we can go blue buff Archangel Syndra. Super good combo. Still looking for the Aphelios. Once we hit the Aphelios, we're chilling. I mean, I do wonder whether it's Thresh over Malphite. It's like item holder now. Let me see, it probably is. Like, for sure it is. It's down to slam blue buff. It's probably on Ari actually. Blue buff Ari. Can knock it off for Syndra later. I can even play um Yasuo plus Yana at some point. For more heavenly value. Dude, look at this Thresh. It's already farmed. Oh my gosh, Kazakh's just one shot bard. Yeah, he's a bit crazy like that. Yeah, he's a bit He's a bit of a sicko like that. This guy has eight ghosties potential. Two ghosty spats is is nasty because you can hit the trait already. It's like if someone went mythic. Wow, I beat the guy streaking in first. That's always a good sign. Was he seven as well? Yeah, he was seven as well. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. That is actually terrifying, by the way. Um, what we're going to have to do is position differently so that Kale's first ult hits not my Thresh. Okay, we're not into it. We are, however, into a pretty scary Darius. Our positioning is pretty good for this, though. Yeah, it's really good for this. Just take the Darius down with the Kha'Zix. Dude, this Kha'Zix is really carrying. The guy's a beast. And I didn't even have to level to 7 here, so my Econ's like actually crazy. We're gonna roll at level 7. We're gonna roll at level 7. Oh no, level 7? Level 8, probably. Although I could just go Aphelios 3. Like, how many people are re-rolling this game? 102 is good. That's a good upgrade. It's just that at 8, I could slow roll a Felios 3, but also hit like Orn, Set, Syndra's. I think I'll probably go 8 this game. I mean, it's not awful odds to hit uh, Felios 3, Thresh 3 at 8. It's really not that bad. Oh. 
Maybe I should roll at 7. ET. It's not great. I think we do go 8. I think we go 8. I mean, at 8, I can play a similar board. Yeah, I don't love BT here. We kind of want a Rage Blade. I mean, MR might be just... I mean, I, honestly, it's probably just BT set. In which case, like, I'm slamming it. BT set sounds fine. We just need to make sure we get our last item for Aphelios. That's, like, the most important thing, probably. Okay, I went tiny but deadly. It's a pretty good augment. Kha'Zix, you got me? Sometimes he's got me here. Oh, he just jumps out the way of the Yone. This guy doesn't care. Like, legit. Boom. Dude, look at the VT mouth fight. He's going in on him. I'm so tanky. I'm not even 7 fated yet. This guy can't get through my comp. Just wait, bro. It gets better. Iron Vintage, I think that's a grief. Bulk is crazy. Let's roll for 7 Fated here. Nice. Put the Singer in. 7 Fated now. We probably just slow roll above 50. I could roll more to stabilize, but like honestly this Kha'Zix is putting in work anyway. Drop the Nico here, get the Kiana in. Nice roll down, yeah, literally one roll. One roll will do it. I mean, maybe I'm just nine. I don't think I need to roll for Aphelios here. I think I can just go up. Holy, dude, that Kale is terrifying, man. Like, actually so scary. Not into the Kale, probably a good thing. I'm into another Yone too. How many have I seen now? <laughs> Another one? Bro. I am 7 fated now though, so... I see... Maybe we're fine. Nice damage. Oh, I see this Kha'Zix is trying his best. Like, 4.5k damage is crazy here. I think we probably do just go 9, honestly. I don't think I'm re-rolling Aphelios. I wonder if this is better. I feel like Duelist is not bad. How much did Yas do? I mean, Kiana did nothing. Let's go 9. I think we can go 9. Go 9, play set. Play Lissandra. Cap out with, like, Legendary board. I mean, people are pretty strong, though. People are really strong, honestly. I might have to sack three. But this guy's strong. But I kill a couple units here at least. I mean, the problem with this guy is the ghosty procs. Like, he's just farming. There's King 2 at 7. Yuck. It's okay. Even if I lose three, I lose like 30. Like 30 more HP, it's not awful. I'm still in the top 4 of HP. We really need the Aphelios item, I think. Although we might play it on Ash. Like Bow, Rod. Bow or Rod is crazy. I mean, we're probably playing Sindri Carry, to be honest. Maybe the AD items just go on set too. Oh, Owen is great. Owen is really great. It's huge for us. Just instantly in. Uh, BTS. I'm kind of down for the shield rather than the heal, actually. I mean, I'm still making gold off Thresh as well. I feel like this guy farms most fights. Wow, this guy is terrifyingly strong. What a spot. Kind of down for the Yoni guy, if anyone. I feel like I probably have the best odds into that guy. Yeah, this guy's strong. My own 
one's also going to print an item for Kiana, which is like not, not ideal. We're killing some units though. Get the Shen too and I'm happy. Nice. Good job team. Okay, maybe on set two. Maybe on set two we're fine. I think one of the best spats to slam in this is porcelain spat as well, just because six porcelain's so OP. It's so it's so nuts. All you need is one augment for it as well to unlock it. Let's put Yas here actually. And then Sindra here. Hitting the Yone, I, I hope. Okay, we're Sindra and Kazix on the Yone, so maybe winnable. You want to hit this guy before his Titans procs, but also this guy is just healing to full HP. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the Sindri can get through him actually. Proc the 40 though, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Still have the the anvil because we're gonna wait till Raptors. I can see us playing a Mumu, a Mumu less with set, because we have two faded spats. We just faded less probably, or faded a Mumu. I see myself playing four porcelain, seven faded, maybe. I would have to drop one, but it can't be bad. It means I can itemize Ash too as well. Archangels probably. Take the rod and hope for a bow. No bow here is rough. That's also not great. One more turn. Yeah, we went out anyway. I feel like the Thresh 3 is not happening. What was the story with a guy? Kind of scary. This Kale does just one shot, I'm pretty sure. Actually, there's no way it one shots my Thresh, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, we're killing some units. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. That's huge. It's a great win. Helios, Ash, Ash. Hi. Ash 2. Kazix is out. Ash 2 Saiyan. Amumu 2 Saiyan. Deathblade. Fated for now. Pull down a little more. Under 2, Thresh. Helios should be in. We need Arcanist in. I guess it's you for now, no difference. Uh, I can stop here, I think. Okay, we need Liss over this. Liss over this and we're done, I think. And then set over Yas. Liss over Nico, set over Yas well. Nice. Cinder 2 is a big upgrade, Ash 2 is pretty good. I mean, I really need a Rage Blade to be honest. And a set. A set and a Rage Blade and we're, we're golden. And an Orn 2. Good shot. I mean, honestly, I think the pair is this for now. Why do I feel like I should sell this? Spirit, reveal our way. I will not ash for now. Hey. 
I mean, I need attack speed on this Ash. That's probably our main main issue right now. But we are tanking. We are tanking. These fated guys are super tanky. Nice, that's a huge win. This guy looked hella strong. Can you explain why you pair these two? Um, I'm pairing Sinjar because I'm lacking damage. There's a Rage Blade. I think Porcelain Spat's also good, but I think Rage Blade's probably best. Just like buff my Ash. Porcelain Spat's good because I can drop Ari for less. And I'm full Porce. Oh, maybe I should have gone full Porce. I think that was a mistake. Actually, full Porce is so crazy here. Oops. Am I really just dog rolling for set set over Ari list? Oh no, set over yes. I, I have two things I can hit, I guess. It takes BT. Maybe you. Yeah, I'm lacking damage. Ten fated. Was there a fated spat? To be honest, even if there was this fated spat, can I reach level ten? Maybe not. I don't think there was a fated spat, right? This Kale guy is uh, getting a lot stronger since we last played him. Hopes and dreams. That was in fact not a faded spell. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Actually scared. HP is super good here, by the way. Set. Oof. Dude, it was definitely Thresh 3. I mean, I don't know what our plan is here, to be honest with you. I don't know what the plan is here. I mean, I kind of want to hit Kane, probably. So maybe something like this. Okay, I'm into this guy. I think I beat him last time, right? Oh no, I beat the other ghosty guy. This guy's the eight ghosty guy. Oh, the... Yeah, this guy's the eight ghosty guy. Oh, he's strong. Go, Syndra. BT death? Oh, NT. Hey, top four. I mean, honestly, we just need Saturn less. I think we've got an, a little unlucky on the sets and the Sanjas, but it is what it is. Sanja 3, Ash 3 are like full win cons, and then like to stabilize its set list. Well, I'm glad I didn't take Porcelain's back because I still haven't seen the Sanja, so it's not that bad. Dupia? I'm down for Dupia. I'm a moo. Oh, that's one. Just need the other one now. That's the other one. What's that? This. ETR. Got these two. Pull the item. Cinder item, hopefully. No Cinder item. Uh, should print or set here. Uh, this can. This can alt. It's gonna all top left. Uh, most important thing is Archangels, this, Starx, BT. I mean, I still unfortunately don't think we're strong enough to win this. Although we did win last fight, so maybe we are. This is just so, so tough for me. I guess he's six ghostly. I'm tough for him. Never mind. I'm tough for him. I just did 20? No way. Was that guy 20? That can't be right. I think I just... I think I just... One-shot him. 
I think I just one tapped that guy. Syndra's. Okay, we're going Syndra 3. Okay, and now I'm scared of Kale. Like, you're kind of meant to spread for Kale. The trouble is. Even if I spread for Kale. Maybe something like this. Where Kale, like, solo hits Thresh. Then maybe the first. Oh, I, I actually win this for free. I win this for free. Because I'm pretty sure Kale's no Story Weaver right now. Okay, I said I win this for free, but it looks kind of close. I'm pretty sure I'm playing as Kale with no Story Weaver because I'm playing Ghost. So, the fact that this is close is probably not a good sign. Probably not a good sign. I've got Syndra's, no Syndra's. You'd imagine double Syndra there. I'm into the, the ghosty guy. I mean, I think, honestly, I think the tech when you're playing against ghosty is just like trying to have as, as many units frontline so the ghosty things spread. I probably want to have this guy here. And then I want Lys to walk to the cane. I think this should work. I think what should happen is we kill dummy and then Lys ult's cane. Oh, he wrapped actually. Nice try. Still possible. Become a teacup. Oh, set ulted something. Okay, as long as Kaiser doesn't ult again. Oh, huge win. That's a huge win. Okay, Cinder off Carousel, I'm down. Wait, I won. My ghost won. That's big. Oh my, wait, Fated Spat. Well, I can't go 10 Fated, but I'm pretty sure putting a Fated Spat on Lys is what better than putting a Hodge on her. Oh, I can drop, I can drop uh, this now for uh, full porcelain if I find a Lux. I don't really care about the Dryad stacks. I feel like, I feel like that's whatever. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so close. Do I just do that? Probably not. Syndra? One, two. Make sure these are bad. Yeah, I think this positioning's good, because actually Set will ult Galio. And then Kale might actually troll the ult. Which would be ideal. Boom. Let's ult again. Boom. Throw armor someone. Get some value. Dude, my ash is dead. I don't know how, but my ash is dead. That can't be good. No! So close! One off Syndra 3. Maybe I should have rolled. GG everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goats if you made it this far, thank you.